Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Welcome to the React 101 and in the first part of this series you will learn how to build the collapsible component using React.js. If you are completely new to React then I would encourage you to check out the React Tutorials 2017 playlist on my YouTube channel where we cover the complete basics and beginnings with React and how to import, export modules, how to use the prop types, what is a class, how to use the state, how to remove and add items to a state and how to filter them. So this will give you a brief overview how React works and will help you to understand our code structure. And the other playlist that I would encourage you to check out is the Webpack 2 playlist that will explain the Webpack 2 configuration. Okay, so all of these, both of these playlists will be good prerequisite for continuing with this workshop, just to making sure that you don't feel overwhelmed when you're opening the starting files. There is a specific video inside of the Webpack 2 playlist that explains how to install Webpack 2 and Twitter Bootstrap. And we'll be using some of the Bootstrap HTML and CSS. So this video explains how the Webpack 2 was configured with Twitter Bootstrap. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed when you firstly download and open the starting folder inside of VS Code. And when you look at the configuration, the Webpack config, Webpack Bootstrap config, I want to make sure that you know exactly what's going on here. But in short overview, we have an entry point that is an index.js that sits inside of src folder that mounts app component that is inside of the JS subfolder. Okay, so this is the basic configuration, Webpack bundles all together and exports everything into one file that is then attached to the index.html. So this is our basic template. Webpack then injects the JavaScript at the bottom of the page and that's how we are able to run this demo. Okay, we have this root folder that is used to mount our React app. So if you look at the index.js, you'll see the get element by ID equals to root that is inside of our index HTML. Okay, so this is the basic setup. We'll be working in this simple demo just with these three files, but all the future demos might be a little bit more complex, but we won't be going through all this setup again. All the downloaded files have a package JSON with the dependencies that we need to run this demo. So if this is the first time you're downloading it, you need to open your terminal. I'll be using the built-in VS Code terminal and you need to run npm install that will install the necessary dependencies. You only need to run it for the first time for each demo. It's done. You should be able to simply run npm run dev that should spin up our Webpack dev server and we should be able to see the page in the localhost 8080. Okay, content not served from Webpack and once it's compiled, compiled successfully, we should be able to just hit the command and click on the link that opens the page in a new window and this is the basic HTML markup that we have to start with. Okay, so this is how we run it. So firstly npm install and then npm run dev to, to spin up the Webpack dev server. This is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.